This post is about using multi database design for building high performance web applications. Applications with a small user base employ a, a design with a single centralized database. The rate of growth and load for such applications do not create contention, and so a single database design will work well. However, each database has a maximum connection limit. For example, PostgreSQL is good for a few hundred connections, but for thousands of connections, it would be better to look at a connection pooling solution, as mentioned in their wiki pages. Caching and database connection pooling can be utilized to postpone hitting the limit. Uh, this single database design approach is easy to maintain, deploy, test, and orchestrate with developer operations. However, when there are specific performance requirements for a particular project, such as the number of users to support simultaneously, the number of API requests per second, read-write access patterns, and data isolation. In such cases, the single database design uh, would be broken by design itself. And hitting the upper limit on performance and load will have a direct impact on user experience. A competition that has a better design to address these issues will definitely win. A multi-database design approach addresses the shortcomings by partitioning or separating data across multiple databases. Data can be partitioned in a number of different ways. Um, as seen on the screen, uh, data can be logically partitioned. For example, user authentication and profile information can reside on one database, while other application data like catalog reviews and feedback can reside on a different database. That way, authentication connections are routed to that specific server, while other servers can utilize connections fully to provision their data. The second approach is to partition data based on read and write operations. This is shown on the screen. All writes will go to one database and this database will be periodically replicated to a secondary database and the secondary read-only database is, will provision the data to clients. Uh, this is particularly useful uh, when the data access pattern is unique. Uh, to be precise, when the read density is too high and it creates a contention for resources with the write operations. So to ensure that the write goes through as fast as possible, uh, we isolate the data based on read and write operations. This particular approach can be combined with app level isolation also as we have just seen. The third approach is to use dedicated databases for different uh, regions or geographies. Uh, as we see on the screen, uh, the data from users or uh, location specific information from New South Wales will be stored in one particular database and data generated from uh, Victoria will be stored in uh, a specific database uh, and Western Australia and others on a separate database. Uh, that way um, there is isolation based on geography. Uh, this is particularly useful where load differs based on geography, the data size also differs based on location and the rate at which the data grows and the number of users for each of the location also differs based on the location. That's where this particular design will help. Uh, the one advantage of this particular design is that each particular uh, database uh, can be configured uh, for efficient allocation of resources for that particular uh, geography's access patterns. So Django supports uh, multiple databases um, uh, itself. Uh, in this particular application, uh, we visualize data uh, from an online gaming platform, we visualize earthquake information, and we also visualize uh, word, uh, word clouds for different uh, websites. So all, all, all the data is uh, different, and it doesn't need to be a single database. Uh, they can live on uh, different databases. For example, the online gaming platform Dota2 uh, provisions data over uh, REST APIs publicly and this data is brought in into the server and stored locally on a database and shown on the screen. Uh, this doesn't, this data doesn't need to stay with the earthquake information and with the uh, word cloud information. So if we, if we look at the word cloud information and we look at the Debian uh, news uh, web page, uh, it will bring in the information 
uh, and store it locally on to the uh, database the same for uh, earthquake information where we uh, show the earthquake uh, stat uh, earthquake information from usgs uh, website and this data is also uh, provisioned uh, openly over rest apis which are brought in and stored locally uh, into a, a local database server and if you look at pg admin for this whole project you can see that there are uh, two database machines and dota 2 resides on a separate uh, machine uh, at a different location and that has the tables for holding information like uh, player totals, uh, total number of heroes in Dota 2 gaming platform and things like that. And whereas uh, the earthquake information and the word count uh, information is stored on a separate database machine. Uh, and this machine hosts two databases for the application. So this is a good example where uh, two, uh, two locations are used for holding the information and one location has got multiple database in it within the same project. So uh, Django supports this by default uh, through a concept known as uh, database routers where you define uh, the read write uh, databases for each of your uh, queries and applications. So these are consulted, uh, the database routers are consulted uh, one by one to decide uh, which database the query should be routed to. And all the routers are uh, listed in uh, a configuration known as database routers within the settings file. And you also need to define your databases in advance. So in this particular example, we can see that there is a main database, uh, which is the one that we saw just now, which holds the word count information. And there is a database for earthquake information. These two reside on the same machine. And the Dota 2 application for which data grows at a faster rate as we use the application again and again uh, is stored on a separate machine with a dedicated database. So uh, that's how uh, applications are designed for uh, high performance uh, using uh, multiple databases.